everyone. My name is Cindy Marilep Salak from grade 11 Rockwell. So today I'll be going to introduce and present the functions and parts of my recycled 3D model of a plant cell. So this is the structure of my recycled 3D model of a plant cell. So almost all the materials that I use in making my 3D model is from recycled materials of course. So first of all, the whole structure is made from an old mattress, old foam that I cut into a shape of a peanut. That's why it's built like this. So next up is the outer part of my 3D cell. It's made from old clothing. So. So these two threads over here is from an old dress and this button too is from an old dress. So the other so the rest of them so the rest of them is is made from papers, from construction papers, some old construction papers that I scavenged in my room. So that's all. <laughs> So this is the cell wall. So the primary function of the cell wall is to protect and provide structural support to the cell. So this is the cell membrane. The cell membrane plays an important role in regulating the entry and exit of specific substance within the cell. So this is the cytoplasm. Its function is to support and suspend organelles and cellular molecules. So this is the Golgi apparatus. Its function is to help process and package proteins and lipids molecules in the cell. So this is the ribosomes. So ribosomes are the organelles that help in protein synthesis. So, this is the chloroplast. Its main function is to convert light energy into relatively stable chemical energy via the photosynthetic process. So, this is the vacuole. This membrane-bound sacs is for storage, digestion, and waste removal. This is the mitochondria. Its function is to produce energy to chemical reactions, breaking down fats and carbohydrates in the cell. So this is the endoplasmic reticulum. It can be either smooth and rough, but its general function is to produce proteins for the rest of the cell to function. So this is the nucleus. Its main function is to control and regulate the activities of the cell. So this is the nucleolus. Its function is to produce and assemble the cell ribosomes. This is the lysosome. Its main function is to break down excess and worn out cell parts. Yeah.